Hey, what's up and welcome everyone to another Warzone Academy video. The series dedicated to helping you become a better Warzone player through in-depth guides and gameplay. In our previous video, we talked about the top eight loadouts that you should be using after the most recent patch to get the competitive edge on your opponent. Well, in today's video, we're actually taking one of those guns and I didn't realize it, but this is possibly one of the most broken guns that I have seen in Warzone to date. Now, I'm not talking about a clickbait broken gun like the Underbarrel Famas shotgun. I think this will stay how it is in the meta. And uh, I think you're going to be very surprised when you run into it. But before we get on to it, I want to mention something about the Academy and the format of these videos. In the past, I've either done, hey, new gun, these are the stats, and then I put some awesome gameplay. Or I would provide really in-depth guides about, hey, here's how I'm making my rotations. Here's how I'm winning these gunfights. These, this is what's going through my mind. I'm going to start combining them to where I take the gun videos, give you all the stats on the guns, and then walk you through how to use that gun to get some incredible gameplay on top of it. You guys like that style? It's not, you know, it's not or, it's not gunplay or academy. It's going to be both moving forward. I hope you guys like that idea. If you do, let me know down in the comments. Drop a like on this video. But without further ado, you guys know the gun that I'm talking about right now is the DMR. It's insane. The close range time to kill is 380 milliseconds, according to J-God, if you get one headshot. It'll kill in like three bullets. That's better than the OTS-9 getting headshots, which with one headshot to the OTS-9, I think is like 490, so almost 500 milliseconds, and then sub 400. 380 milliseconds versus 500 milliseconds on the OTS-9 in the DMR is destroying lobbies so i drop over 30 kills in this lobby and this is how i have it kitted out it's so important that you have the titanium barrel now in my previous video in the loadout video i actually had this built a little bit differently i went through a couple games you know i i, I tried to figure out what really would work i went for a max movement speed at first with a bruiser grip and a titanium or the tiger team i didn't like it um after a whole bunch of like almost 20 bombs and then figuring out and dropping 30 plus with this, this is the way I've got it kitted out. Serpent Wrap to help with a faster aim down sight. 30 round mag because as you're rapid firing, it burns through the ammo pretty quick. Mill Stop Reflex for a clean sight picture that doesn't affect your aim down sight too much. And Titanium Barrel for that really fast fire rate, which is essential for the time to kill. And then of course the Agency Silencer to make sure that we have that increased... Um, bullet velocity increased damage range and of course the sound suppression on top of it now one more thing before we get into the actual gameplay itself and i show you guys and explain how i went through this entire video this is not just a mouse and key gun i do rock this game on mouse and key but i played on controller actually in the hours leading up to this you may see some clips from that and i was dropping a lot of kills but i will admit I have a little bit of an advantage when I play on controller because I'm playing with my scuff controller. And if you guys haven't seen it before, my scuff controller actually has what are called digital triggers. So the triggers on this controller are actually like mouse clicks. So I'm I'm fully pressing these controllers. So you can really rip through single fire weapons, similar to how you would on mouse and key on controller. Uh, full disclosure, I am sponsored by scuff. If you want to check out scuff, that'll be linked in the description. You can use code Isaac to get 5% off. But... It actually works out really well with this gun on controller because that rotational aim assist up close. If you have good centering, hit that L2 and then just spam that right trigger. It'll stick to the target and they're going to be down in no time. But without further ado, let's get into this gameplay and explain how I drop over 30 kills solo using this DMR. So kind of the flow that you can expect for this is I'm going to be dropping in hot and I'm going to be explaining early game how I'm winning individual gunfights, whether it's my positioning or how I'm using information to hunt down the lobby and get a lot of kills. But where a lot of value that you guys are looking for comes at the very end where I start talking about my, my rotations, how I set up power positions, how I play safe, and how I pull off a win despite solos being really, really ratty based off of my map knowledge and my game sense. Okay, so here we are dropping into Superstore right now for a 30 plus kill DMR game. Now, Superstore is very risky to land at. I don't like it as much as I used to, mainly because you can shoot through the windows up top and you can get on top of the rafters. And I have a lot, a lot of stream snipers that join me um, and try to kill me. Right here, fortunately, this is my one and only friendly stream sniper, Nick. And he, uh, he kind of cost me two kills there, so I was a little upset with him. But I still love him. I still love him. So, as we work through here, best thing about Super, quick money, a lot of kills, and you can make your rotations fast. Ideally, get my load out of my hand ASAP. 
You'll notice in super, most of the time, whenever I'm trialing corners, I'm trialing them hard and I'm trialing them fast and I'm anticipating running into other players. So even there, where I don't see him, the way I end up getting the kill is because I approach this corner aggressively, I still get the kill on him. So he gets really good COD timing, right? But in the same way that he's trying to slide cancel Chow me, I'm trying to slide cancel Chow someone who's would be on this corner because I had heard some footsteps. But he pushes in at the exact perfect COD timing and I just have to snap over and then win an awkward gunfight. If I would have slow peeked, right? Let's say I'm like right here and I just slow peek off to the side looking down this angle, I'm getting completely torched. There's no such thing as COD timing in my favor because he is challenging me aggressively. He's going to get peeker's advantage and he is pre-aiming right in this doorway and I'm stationary in the doorway. By challenging out aggressively, I end up getting lucky and then having to snap over and take a pretty tough gunfight. From here, I'm chucking utility because I heard a couple gunshots over there. Just trying to get a little bit of a uh, little bit of information, uh, even if it's just a hit marker, should set me up pretty well. As always, challenging aggressively, kind of checking over in all these corners, and I spot that one guy just kind of running. And the Tech Nine unsuppressed is gross. Dude, you guys killed each other. Oh, <laughs> so, okay. once again, man, I you guys see my gameplay all the time. I very rarely have stream snipers. I'll be open and honest about you when it man, does happen. So uh, more often than not, they're guys that kill me, or they're cheating, or they're shooting my body. But in this scenario, I've got two guys that I take out early on. And uh, <laughs> you hear it there. Love you guys, though. I'm sorry. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I'm trying to drop a heater. It's been a rough night. It's been a rough night, man. I, I've been going through it, and the uh, the stream snipers weren't making my life any easier. But I was distracted. I did not spot the player right there crossing out in the open. You can spot him right now if you look on the left-hand side of your screen. I didn't spot him. It's been a rough night, and now I'm waking up, and I'm getting East Coast demon lobbies. And I was playing at like 5 a.m. I was up on a super late night bender. I wake up. I'm playing against East Coast Demons. I am down horrendous. Two people, two people. One's there, one's there. So listen to this call out. Do you hear that glass break? That glass breaking is me information, right? So I know there's this guy underneath me, this rose skin that chowed me over by garage. And so I'm expecting him to be somewhere over here. But then I hear glass break in this window over here. So I'm not going to set myself up for a pinch and push in or push in because I'm just going to get shot in the back. Two people, two people. One's there, one's there. So... I jump in, I get the shots, I don't get the first kill. I crack that first row skin trying to get the kill, and then I child this guy with 13 bullets. And without aim assist, I miss a few too many shots. But what I do right here is critical. I keep pre-firing because I don't have any plates, right? I keep pre-firing until I'm just strafing around enough to hit him. The reason why I do this is I don't have any plates. If I jump and chow through that door with an LMG, I'm not going to be able to get a kill um before he kills me because if he's using anything and he's pre-aiming that door by the time i jump through and aim down sight i'm gonna be dead but at this point oh, i got 15k i got enough money for a loadout and i pick up the dmr swiss oh, class you see this guy on my radar up top he's right on the edge i'm trying to get him to chow so i break through the glass just trying to get his attention i'm like i really want to chow him with this dmr And he gets ripped. Even with me missing a couple shots. Snap up to him. I'm hitting the wall. And then all it takes is one headshot and two headshot. Straight through the armor, straight to death. Next up. Look at my eyes. 
Watch my eyes this entire time. The second that I spot this tack rover, my eyes are locked on this tack rover. I'm just running up these stairs through like peripheral and muscle memory, and I'm just trying to see where he's at. Because because what your mind should be doing when you're getting I'm literally just staring at my mini map right there. What your mind should be doing is you should be you building a mental picture of what your expectations are before you get there. Right. So it can be off. It can be a little bit different than what you expect when you eventually peak, whether it's it's a radar ping or whatever it may be. That was a really nice shot, but I couldn't hit it twice. Um, but if you have that expectation of, okay, when I get out this door, when I get out this piece of cover, I'm going to pre-aim here and I should expect to see X. It allows you to acquire these targets so much faster than if you're, okay, I'm running up the stairs. I'm running up the stairs. Okay. Now I'm going to check my radar and now I'm going to figure out where I'm going to pre-aim. I'm just building this mental model the entire time. And the nice thing about this gun is sniper support wise. It can handle the mid-range very well, even if you're not hitting all headshots. OTS-9 would not do that because the OTS-9 is disgusting when it comes to damage drop-off. And disgusting in a bad way. So, from here, I'm driving around the map, trying to figure out where some people are. Decide to pick up a, a bounty to get a little bit more information. I believe... So, yep, that's what I did right there. I'm like, I'm trying to trying to remember why I'm so focused on dealership, and it's because this last bounty, or that last UAV ping, gave, gave me some information. So I'm out here, searching based off that information, trying to get something off my heartbeat sensor, but I'm not going to waste enough time on it because I've got the information for my bounty. Start pushing up, spot him on the roof. It hit a really gross That was flick. gross. That was a really nice flick. Kind of gassed myself up a little bit. Watch the hand cam. Snap over. Hand cam's a little delayed to, to render. Thanks, Gustav. That was gross. That was a really nice flick. And rip the guy's head off. Thank you Work. for the chowls. I Work my way up. Start moving around. Trying to find myself. Uh, are high, though. That's all that matters. Having a good time. Trying to find some new kills. And hey, even though we're going through the blender. Vibes are high. We see some loadout smoke out front of police station, so we're going to push in, try to get a kill. Trying to find him on our heartbeat Sitting sensor. Ghosted. Yeah. And so, this guy had perfect COD timing on me, right? So, I see a loadout here. I clear off this half of the building with Sitting my heartbeat corner. sensor. I'm trying to clear off this half of the building, and as soon as I see nothing is on the heartbeat from either side, right, and a loadout just dropped, I know this guy is ghosted. 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 I have the realization. And smoke him. But I, I really don't know how. Like, to this day, I... You just burned all your ammo. You had 11 bullets. What are you doing? Keep shooting. It's, I have I have no idea what he was doing. I don't know if he was trying to be cocky and, like, let me panic. But that was, like, the freest kill I had this entire time. He 100% had me dead. So moving on, just finding more people on these UAVs, trying to hunt down as many people as I can. I know these guys are going to be crazy easy kills if they're just camping in corners. Right now, I'm How's still... How's look from your end, Tactical Redneck? I am still crazy, crazy, like, on pace. I have 12 kills, and 66 alive means I'm not in a bot lobby. If you have more than... Ooh, this is actually a really good shot. Um, Typically... A heater for me is when I have 10 kills with 100 left, but there's 66 left, so there are some very good players in this lobby. But fortunately, I'm able to move through in the late game and get a lot, a lot of kills. You guys have seen this te te technique 100 times. I ping, I jump, I look. Okay, there's an obstruction in the way. So I pull up my map. I ping the other location. I spot him. Get one kill. And then I hit a jumping snipe and smoke the guy. And I'm like, my hands are sore, man. I've been playing all night. I just want a heater. And uh, it's it's really, really starting to come together. Go ahead. And I grab Ghost Class. I pick up my Swiss. I see up in my top left, I see the SUV coming in. Trying to get shots off on him. I get a quick scope and a crack. 
and then just spamming with the DMR, because I know if I hit him one single time after cracking him, that DMR is going to do everything oh, I need it to do. Game watch the stream anyways, so okay. End up looting these guys. I'm checking my UAV, looking for pings. I know I have... I, killed, I know I have nothing off of that UAV information, so my first thought, if I don't have any pings on my UAV, I am getting the heck out of Dodge, trying to find the next rotation. Fortunately, find some money on those guys. As I'm rotating over, I spot a guy on an ATV. Oh, he's a little behind. A little behind again. Two in front. And you'll hear it. I say this all the time. You guys should be, whenever you're taking sniper shots, you should be able to say, okay, how did I mess up? Oh, it's too behind there. I shoot, but I don't compensate for his velocity. Oh, he's a little behind. Little behind. A little behind again. A little behind. Two in front. Two in front. That's the way you become a better sniper it, okay, later in gunfights is like... Time's a charm. Ah, uh, no, it's not. It's okay, I'm going to DMR you. I'm gaining on you, 94, 93, <laughs> 92. And, for me. and so that's how I've really become a better sniper is I just criticize myself oh nonstop. My I thought I had a heartbeat. I thought I had a heartbeat out, but... I thought I had a heartbeat. So I pull up my heartbeat oh my trying God. to figure where he's at. I, I had a stun. I bounced, stun it off the wall. That's a really a valuable thing you can do, especially if someone's right on a close wall from you. Heartbeat. Bounce stun. I thought I had a heartbeat. And it kills Ew. so oh, fast. You get one headshot, it kills in three bullets. One headshot kills in three bullets. I'm rotating over here to get myself a UAV, but fortunately, I spot someone who's hitting the buy. Oh, hello. Try to run him over, doesn't work out. Take kind of an awkward angle he's not expecting. Smoke him really easy. Gunfight like that, there's no reason for me, right, to, to chow right around that right-hand side. That's where he expects me to be. So I'm going to try to chow from a different piece of cover. It is risky because if he is looking at that, the vault animation could get me killed. He's expecting me to swing right. He gets smoked. Oh, he's never going to chow again. <laughs> oh. And I'm seeing this guy on the rooftop. I'm trying to get him to chow. Oh, and then I miss my again. shot. And I just know, dude, this guy's never going to chow me again. Uh, I hate people. <laughs> and I hate people that camp on those roofs, man. He'll never chow. Even if, even if I start driving away again, he most likely won't chow. And he doesn't. He's terrified. As soon as someone snipes back at him, he won't do it. That is literal disgust. It is literal disgust Disdain. of these people. Hate. Disdain. Hate. So, jailbreak pops in. I spot this SUV rolling up on me from behind. I'm still trying to get this guy because I really don't like him. And I see this SUV go inside of this. I've got two Simtexes. Even if he had EOD, he's still going to die. Definitely not meta, but like just the feeling of like, like just, just ripping someone down with the... Uh... With that fire rate is cool. And so, yeah. I think I saw someone on the train route. With semi-automatic weapons, you're, there, there runs a little bit of a risk, right? It's the same reason why guns like the Odin and the Scar aren't that valuable. Because even with a really solid time to kill, you're still going to get completely smoked. That was the guy that I killed in the garage. Jailbreak came through. Ended up getting a kill on him. If you miss a single bullet with something like um, a Milano, an Odin, a um, an AK-47, guns that have a slower time to kill or a slower fire rate, it's really going to cost you in terms of overall time to kill. So do I suggest using this? Absolutely. It's so much fun to use. Is it as forgiving as other guns? Absolutely not. <laughs> this is the most friendliest I've had in a single game. Well, I think tact Nick and Tactical are friendly. The other guy wasn't. I just killed him. Yeah, yeah, so I the 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 friendly snipers come back after uh I think I got like three kills on him this game after the jailbreak. There he is. And that guy was actually a really good player. He was beaming me a lot down here. But, end up getting him taken out. I turn around, I spot the lens glare, snap on that guy. And we talk about this a lot. A lot of people ask me, like, Isaac, how are you spotting these? Especially, like, for those of you on the phone. As soon as I scan a new area, trying to find someone else to kill, all I'm thinking about is 
areas of interest where I expect enemies to be, right? So when I look at this, where should your eyes be scanning? Because I'm not scanning all the entire map, doing a, doing a little like scan like this, right? What I'm doing is I'm thinking, okay, is this clear? Okay, that's clear. Okay, is this clear? Okay, that's clear. Okay, is that is that like trip white clear? And then my eyes are definitely going to scan this rooftop, especially since I was annoyed by that guy earlier. He's peeking me. Rip his head off. Getting sniped at. I have self revive, so what I'm doing is I'm taking this fight to where if I get down, I can cover behind this. I don't want to be taking the fight up here where I get down. I'll get thirsted. So I'm trying to stay somewhere I can use my self revive. Don't run. Come on. Hold this chow. Hold this chow. We do this together. Hold hands. I'm trying to get the guy to ego chow me. He doesn't do it. And as you can see, it is, uh, it is. I think five in the morning at this point. I'm getting delirious. I want a game with I want a game with this gun. And we're making it happen. So I'm hunting, right? Always trying to find oh, where my last more. person was. If I could play this part differently, right? What I should have done. Well, actually, I guess all the vehicles blew up. So I didn't have any vehicles to rotate with. What I wish I would have done a little bit differently is cut left, maybe, and grab the UAV. But I had that guy's information. I knew where his Jeep got out, right? Because we had his Jeep on the mini-map. And I'm just trying to get a kill. I'm going in. Playing a little bit slower. I'm not sprinting through the doors. Trying to figure out, hey. Okay, let me pull out the heartbeat real quick. Hey, he's not on heartbeat. I'll pull the stuns back out. Typically don't run stuns and solos. I'm not sure why I had him on my loadout. But now I think, hey. I can't find that guy. He wasn't on my heartbeat. Let me pull out a heartbeat sensor and see if, or let me pull out a UAV and see if we can track him down. Like a disappointed dad. This guy. <laughs> That's the look of me looking at chat. Like, <laughs> down bad. All right, moving in. Regain. You're up, soldier. Now go sort this. Find the angle. In this gulag, the only way that I win is if I, if I play aggressive. A lot of times they can hear your footsteps, but having that ego child, getting the peeker's advantage is a lot more valuable, especially when you can hear the clink, 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 clink of the people running above you. You can sometimes get away with uh, sprinting through. I decide to ego this guy. I have zero confidence in his gun skill, but I stay up top. Right, because as I'm dropping in, I want, like, I don't see him, but I want to make sure if he's ratting somewhere, I'll have a moment to react. So I stop, I hear him coming, and I'm thinking I might be able to get lucky, but I'm not, I'm not trying to die here. This isn't the gunfight I'm trying to win. Take some extra shots while he's reloading. And I pull a, I pull a little 200 IQ strat where you certain buildings like especially in the top green buildings there's like the two the two um rooftop accesses and people will camp or they'll like sit below you on your stairwell what you can do is you can jump on the top green ledge and it'll make a parachute sound and then people will start clanking up your ladders thinking that you jumped and then you just gun them as they're coming up the ladder that's what i tried to do here he doesn't fall for it i don't spot him he's up here I spotted him. He, you could have spotted him walking right through there. And just try to get back undercover. At this point, I know he doesn't wrap back towards me. I kind of see him on the outside wall. I grab the satchel and I grab my close range weapon. And that's all I need. Because I know this guy has zero gun skill. Like, the way he's playing, the way he's camping, I'm feeling good. But he does have a Fennec. So I don't want to play a close angle on him. So what I opt to do is I don't decide to chow him right here, close. I decide, okay, I got a DMR. It's a little bit more of a mid-range gun. I mean, yes, it, it kills the fastest close range out of any gun, but I don't want to be stupid and, you, you know, challenge with that longer aim down sight time. So I swing wide. I decide to swing even wider. Open up the door. He's chasing me with a heartbeat. He doesn't even hit a single bullet. And this gun actually causes a lot of flinch when it hits targets. And, uh... Give him a couple tactical crouches. 
and a couple love taps. Because <laughs> I was so mad. <laughs> Grab my self revive. I don't have enough for a UAV. Get my sniper back in my hand. Rock and double stun Simtex. And we're back on the hunt. The momentum is back in our favor. Out of my car. I'm so twisted. I literally just tried to slide. <laughs> Three round mag. And Zero chat. <laughs> The only thing I regret there, chat, is only having a 30-round mag. I wish I could have shot his body more. I'm so twisted. I literally just tried to slide cancel inside of I my car. I tried to slide cancel inside of my car because I, I was moving forward, and I switched seats instead. But back Maybe on the I hunt, trying to get some more money so I can keep me. these UAVs going. Pop a bounty. I don't have enough money for a UAV. Trying to figure out where everyone's at. And at this point, I'm just hunting down my bounty. As I'm going through these, scanning rooftop, scanning rooftop, scanning rooftop. That is where my that is where my um, my eyes are going to. Looking up, trying to spot where this guy might be. Looking for anyone crossing the road. I don't see anyone right here. I feel comfortable. I'm I'm like kind of right where the bounty is moving. I see he's rotating out. I hear some gunshots up top. I see that guy right here fall down right so i'm seeing this guy fall down so that tells me there's someone up here boom there he is try to hit a quick scope don't land the shot but i'm getting shot instantly in the right and now i'm kind of uh, i'm full sending for kills right i'm trying to get multiple kills i'm trying to take advantage of it and this guy gets it bad man i'm scanning because i thought i heard the shots coming over here but i'm still trying to possibly clean up the kills over here I spot him, hit a really nasty quick scope. My focus is this guy going up the ladder or the, the rappel because there's there's a time crunch there, right? If he gets up the rappel, he's going to be a pain in the butt to deal with. Smoke him. Splats. What do you notice here? I see this thirst, but I'm focusing on this in the background. I take the shot, instantly get behind cover. Don't even bother reloading my close range weapon. Switch to my sniper, chow. And this guy doesn't want it. He's like, whoa, demon, demon, see ya, gone. <laughs> Gets back behind cover. We're on 26 kills with 19 players left. We're going to start transitioning here in a moment from the high kill hunting to the late game winning. And I kind of like, I kind of like chow in. I check a couple close corners and I'm like, nah, I don't like it. I child on my closest piece of cover. Stun out in case he pushes. He doesn't. Put a Simtex out for a little bit of information of a hit marker. And just try to rotate out. Got my sniper if he does chow me again. But most importantly, we're just deciding, screw it. Like th th These fights are weird. I don't want anything to do with it. Fortunately, find ourselves a little durable gas mask. And now we're starting to set up for end zone. We got $24,000. Still being a little bit paranoid, right? Prone and out. I don't want anyone headshotting me. And I decide, since I don't have a lot of kills, or since I don't have my perks, rather than hunting all of these red dots, I mean, look at this. This is so tempting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Super tempting, but I don't have perks, and I know zone is climbing in, and I've already used my gulag. It's just not worth it. Spot this guy. Hit a nice little quick scope. One more tag with the DMR is enough to get the kill. I'm thinking about challenging these guys. I'm like, mm, I really want to challenge inside that window. Not worth it. Playing safe. As I'm rotating over, I would be stupid to think that Boneyard is empty. I have one ping up here. But, like, I'm still going to play paranoid to think that someone else is around. As soon as I get sniped, I start going laterally, side to side. That's going to make me much harder to snipe. I'm just trying to go, trying to get ghost, just so that way someone camping with a heartbeat sensor can't find me. Boom. Pick up my ghost. I'm now back to where I was prior to dying to the guy at the loadout. I'm looking for this red dot that I spot on my mini-map. Trying to find where he is. He's sniping. He's proned out. He was trying what he was trying to do with that prone. As he was trying to get an angle under here in case I came through there, is my guess. Because um, he, he wasn't bad. He B-hopped away instantly as soon as I chowled him. But uh, I think that's where he was looking. 
as always you guys see this technique every single game spot someone on my mini map ping where they are do i see them i do i take my shot unfortunately don't end up hitting these and we just keep rotating we're not going to do anything stupid we're not going to try to like push way out of the zone to hunt down some kills but i mean we're not going to let we're not going to let kills just escape us you know once again proof that the dmr is insane at mid-range i see who he's shooting at keep in mind this guy was shooting at this guy off to the left i'm gonna push over to that guy nice. and this guy was cracked this guy was really good. That just did that child me here. Slide cancel into a fast drop shot and almost kills me. Very good player. But fortunately, I get the win here and I officially got the 30 bomb. Now there is 10 people left. Typically in a late game like this, I'll get maybe like seven of the last 10 kills, maybe five at least. But this is a very awkward zone. Get a nice little shot on that guy. You can see I see him rotating out of the zone, right? I'm looking at my mini map. So I'm trying to see where he comes from. I spot him. He has zero plates because I hit him in the body wall banging through the door and I still get the kill. And I decide I don't want to mess with these buildings. The buildings are super awkward. Not sure how they're going to play out. Let me do my due diligence. And what I do is I just start clearing out everything. Anxiety. I'm like, okay, where? Or I guess paranoid would be more like... I'm expecting someone to rotate in behind me. I didn't clear out all of Boneyard, so there still very much could be someone that rotates in behind me and ruins the entire game. So I kind of start talking about it too. I'm like, hey, I, I, I don't feel comfortable. It's really annoying until this closes out. Once it closes out, I'll be in a lot better spot, but it's... I don't feel comfortable. For me to get third party from behind. I do not feel comfortable challenging all these people that are going to come out of these buildings until this wall is clear. Once this wall, the gas is pushed over and I don't see anyone coming out, then I know my back is clear. And so I wait. I'm paranoid. I skip forward 20 seconds there. Right? I'm just waiting for that zone to be cleared out. And as soon as I see, okay, sweet. I can kind of hard focus this now. Right side's so cleared out. I can take this high ground over here now. Start a little bit of a risky cross there. A little bit of a risky Quick cross, right? As, as I cross there, I don't really have oh, any I can cover. Take this high ground over here now. A little bit of a risky cross there. But now I start pushing forward. I'm clearing out, looking at all these bushes, looking for all these proned out possible campers. And now I see three people left in the lobby. And I'm trying to track down the last three. Okay, I see two guys shooting at each other near the wall. So I'm thinking there's a guy here. I think that might actually be him. I, I didn't see him in the actual game. So there's a guy here and a guy here. So now I know where two out of the last three people are. I'm just trying to get an angle on this guy. He hop around to a different angle. Still, still can't get it. Boom. One player down. End up missing out on the kill because I missed the shot, but it's whatever. Boom. There's the last player. So now my thoughts are, okay, we know one player up in this top corner and one player up in this top corner. We know where the last two players are. I'm checking to see if this guy's rotating out through left some open right. ground. Roskin on the right. I say left and right. Roskin on the right. Catch this guy as he's sliding with a really right. nice headshot. Roskin on the right. Down. Trying to push forward. He's smart. He holds on to his self-revive. And then pops it. Later. But I get him with the second Simtex. And now, boom. I'm eyes locked looking for the last guy. A little bit of a risky cross here, but I got the truck to hide behind if I need it. Enemy and the guy clusters me. Fortunately, I've got a durable gas mask. I also got the time to get out as needed, so I don't go straight into the gas. And I kind of hold this hill where I can still keep some information. And I have no idea where he is. Clusters, as they typically do for me, are homing and fly towards me. And I'm at a loss. I have no idea where this guy is. I'm looking, so I'm, I'm looking out here. I'm looking underneath here, looking for like legs, trying to see if I see any legs moving through here. I don't spot anything. The zone pulls far away from me. So my thought is I'm going to hold this. Okay. And while I hold this, I'm going to keep an eye out, right? If there's anyone ratting inside of here, I'm just going to hold inside of here and use my durable ma gas mask and shoot them as they rotate into the storm. 
but the guy throws the stun grenade. So, my biggest thing when I get stunned is just really, unless I can like vault out of somewhere, because you can actually use the vaulting animation to move really fast, is like, I'm just trying to hide. I'm not going to try to pre-fire anything. I'm not going to try to draw any attention until I'm back in the fight. Then I'm going to reposition, try to get some info. Smoke. And so this entire time, I don't know how I didn't see his legs. I didn't see any any part of him. I'm just challenging this corner thinking that he's got to be out here deep somewhere. But he's actually close. He must have been dead silenced or something. With the DMR, it was like three body shots and a headshot. <laughs> I give him a little extra stun just for stunning me. Oh my god, what a game, dude. And we pull it off. And we pull it off. That was, a, that was a stressful game. A lot of time using the DMR. I had a lot of fun using this gun throughout the entire night. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a favor and drop a like on it. Combining both the new meta guns, all the things that you guys need to do about the fastest time to kill, best you know sniper support, whatever it may be, and then combining it with education. If you guys enjoyed this style of video, please do me a favor and drop a like on it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And keep an eye out because this Friday, we have a merch drop coming. The first ever Warzone Academy merch coming so keep an eye out for that as well hope you guys enjoyed catch you on the next one peace